Hello students, welcome back. The question is from GATE 2010 exam. This one is for two marks. Let's first read the statement, then I am going to provide the solution. In the sequential circuit shown below, if the initial value of output Q1, Q0 is 0, 0, what are the next four values of Q1, Q0? You can have a look at these four options. Okay. So the counter that they have given in the question is made using two T flip-flops and the value of these T inputs is one. Okay. Second thing is we are providing clock only to the first flip-flop. The output of this flip-flop is used as clock to second flip-flop. Okay. That means this is a asynchronous counter. Okay. Also, it is asynchronous binary down counter. Okay. First flip flop, second flip flop. That means it is of two bits. Two bits down counter will have counting sequence like this. Three, two, one, zero. Then again, three, two, one, zero and so on. Okay. This loop will keep on repeating. See. Maximum possible value with two bits is three. So we start from the maximum value and we go till zero again till zero and this keeps on happening. So in this question, they have given that starting state is zero. Okay. So if you start from here, next state will be three. Next will be two and next one is one. Then again, it will be zero. So they were asking. If we start from zero, what are the next four states? They are three, two, one, zero. So let me see which option is correct. Option A is one, 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 zero, zero, one and zero, zero. That means three, two, one, zero. So option A is your answer. Now, if you are not able to identify that this one is a two bit binary down counter of asynchronous type, then you can simply draw this table and find out the counting sequence. Let's do this. So this flip-flop is connected to the clock. Okay, that means this flip-flop will be the first one to react on a clock signal. Okay, the clock input of this flip-flop is output of this flip-flop. Okay, so let us first analyze this one. It has Q0. So whenever you give a clock, Q0 will reverse its value. If it is 0, it will become 1. Okay. See, whenever T input is 1, that means we want to toggle. Upon giving a clock signal, whatever is present in Q will be complemented. If it is 0, it will become 1. If it is 1, it will become 0. Okay. 0 changes to 1 and 1 changes to 0. Now see. Whenever this output changes from 0 to 1, earlier it was 0, upon giving a clock signal, it became 1. That means this case and this case. In these two cases, this clock signal will also be a rising edge. Okay, That means whatever is the clock input of this flip-flop has a rising edge now. Okay because the value of this signal changes from 0 to 1. That means this flip-flop will also toggle because it has now observed a positive edge of clock. 0 to 1 change means a positive edge. Okay. So this value earlier it was 0. Now it will become 1. And here also we need to toggle because this is also a positive edge of clock for this flip-flop. That means 1 will change to 0. Okay. What happens in this case? In this case, 1 changes to 0 means it is a negative edge of clock for this flip-flop. Okay. Whatever is the external clock to this circuit, it is con uh, connected only here. This flip-flop has a clock signal which is generated by the first flip-flop. Okay. Anyways, here there will be no change because we are considering the flip-flops to be positive edge triggered. This is considered by default. Zero will be left as it is. One will be left as it is. Okay. Now just have a look. 
initial state is zero zero. That means this one. Upon seeing a positive edge of clock, we will go to three. So the first number in sequence is three. If you are currently on three, next state will be two. Two. If you are currently on two, next state will be one. Okay, so I'm writing one. If you are currently on one, next state will be zero. So they were asking, what are the four values of counter? Next four values. 3, 2, 1, 0. Option A is correct. Okay. Now I'll take one more minute to explain it in a bit more detail. Say at any given time, the value of counter, it is 1, 0. Okay. Q0 is 0. That means here we have a 0. And Q1 is 1. In question they were given, uh, they have said, state is defined by q1 q0 so this is most significant bit this is least significant bit now the current values are 0 and 1 let us see what changes will happen when a positive edge of clock is given when you give a positive edge this flip flop will try to reverse the value okay so this value earlier it was 0 now it became 1 the changes from 0 to 1 okay and this signal is given as an input here. That means this flip flop will think that clock has changed from 0 to 1 and it will see a positive edge. Okay. So there will be a small difference between the reaction times of this flip flop and this flip flop because this one will get a clock signal a bit late. Okay. So this will change the output from 1 to 0. Okay. And suppose at any given time, this value is 1. The value here is 1. We will give a clock signal to this flip-flop, okay? Because clock input is connected only here. It will change the value from 1 to 0. Now the value changes from 1 to 0. That means this flip-flop will think there is no clock, a positive edge of clock given. It will see a change from 1 to 0. It will see a negative edge of clock, okay? So in this case, this one won't react. It will keep the value 0 only. Okay. If the value was 0, it will keep it 0. If the value was, was 1, it will keep it 1 only. Okay.